Hey Don. <laughs> it's Steve. Yeah. Hi. Um, um, this is a video for uh, uh, pr telling you how to program an engine onto your MRC because I saw that you sent me a picture of your new system. Right here. I don't know if you can see that. But, um, okay. Prodigy it's Express, which I have the same thing right here. Um, okay, so. Uh oh. <laughs> I think come down. Uh, came on. Ugh. Um, okay, so. Okay, this is uh, how to program uh, an engine, an Atlas. This is an Atlas C425, uh, number 801. As you can tell, oh, I've, for those of you who know me on Facebook and all that and YouTube, um, this engine is uh, making its first appearance on the DCC layout. Uh, I've just popped in a NCE, uh, what was that decoder name? Do you remember, John? No, uh, you never even showed me. Uh, <laughs> well, I don't really feel like taking the engine apart again because, one, it's hard to take apart and pop back on, and plus, I will admit, the wiring is a little bit of a pickle. Um, yes, I said pickle. Um, it's, I mean, it's not that difficult. I mean, all you have to do is just slide little tabs off the contacts where the wires rub. Um, but that's it. Pretty basic, easy to do. So, and plus she's got the, because she's a BC engine, and that's uh, e, e, yeah, Erie Lackawanna. Not sure of the number, 2400 something. That's it. That's what I know. But she's 801. Um, 802, I think, works for uh, the Dave Monteverdi, the Delaware and Lackawanna down in Scranton, Pennsylvania. So, and she's also 802 is uh, EL as well. So, alright, without further ado, this is how to program a DCC engine to your layout. Um, yeah, I don't have a bad. Okay. All right. Okay. First off, um, my friend already programmed it. Uh, went ahead and programmed it on his layout. My friend Tim Anderson. Um, and as you can see, this is the decoder's default address. It's number three. Um, if you can see that. Um, okay. Here, this little guy means that the light bulb is on and the headlights. Uh, turn those off by pressing zero on the throttle. I'm going to leave those on because it looks freaking cool. Um, okay, and I press, you can either do enter to make it um, start to accelerate, and there she goes. And I can also use the speed dial. Press reverse. Oh, and actually now it's going forward. Okay. I think I've confused the different. Oh, never mind. Um, oh, wrong button. Direction makes it go in reverse, and the headlights are on the back, and I know you can't see. But, um, and there she goes, starting off. And it's kind of jumpy, as you can tell. I don't really like that. Kind of bugs me. I want, you know, so it's, it's an Alco, not an Acela engine. <laughs> um, so, you know, these things take a while to, you know, time, you know, speed up and, you know, do their thing. So, well, you, you would know because, you know, near can like here. So, yeah. Awesome. Um, yeah. Okay, so you basically get what I want to do with this. Um, I want to uh, fix its little bit of its, of its speed because it's too jumpy. So what I'll do is turn off the headlights. Oops, that's F8. Turn the headlights off. Okay, they're off. Now I will go to... This is how you remove an engine from your... Uh, uh, memory. The, this system can hold up to two, uh, 20 engines in the uh, cab. As you can see, 9394 over there. Uh, this is 3. Um, we're going to change that to 801. 2505 is on the track over here. Uh, 2414 is in the engine house. And yes, you did ask me if um, you can change, if you want to change the engine's address, like say you don't want it to be, say you want it to be like, okay, 1013, if the engine number's 1013, and you want it to be like 
2, you can do so. You can make it 308. You can make it 6101. Uh, anything you want. <laughs> so, and uh, all that good stuff. So, all right. Without further ado, here we go. Programming an engine on the DCC system. What I'm going to do is, I'm not going to delete this actually, because this is shared with 3681, which is also uh, on the uh, main line, and that has to be tinkered with a little bit more to get its uh, settings right. So, we're not going to, I'm actually going to leave this in here. Okay, so, alright, when you go to program an engine on your DCC system, what you'll need is a program track. And a program track is what you basically do. It's a separated track. It's isolated from the rest of the railroad. As you can see, I tied mine in right here on this flimsy little piece of car cardboard. Uh, yeah, it's not good to run on. I use only temporary. I had a Y in place here once, but I tore it out because this is flimsy and not the way to do it. So, yeah, I'm going to send an $80 engine on this. So. Don't do what I'm doing. Uh, set it on, build your track on a solid piece of plywood. Um, okay, we're gonna set this now on the program track. Okay, set her down. All four wheels must touch the track. Good connection. These wires go to my system under here. Um, yeah, don't get lost under there. Um, you can see uh, these wires go to the program track, and it's labeled in the back. So when you hook all this up, it'll be all you know labeled for you. These are my track power and power program track. So and there's my system right there. Pretty small, convenient. Mount it. It's got screws and holes so you can mount it. Um, and I just use this nice little bed sheet that's been cut up <laughs> into. Uh, that so all right to program an engine step one put your engine on the program track all four wheels isolated press program on your cab program track it'll flash program program track and if you wanted to you can press okay yeah there's um yeah see there's the main that's for programming it on the main line and accept the program track um, hopefully you're getting this and I'm not confusing you. Well, um, and, okay, we'll cover that later. Okay, uh, recall, hang on. Okay, program track. Alright, it's flashing. We press enter, the blue button, and it's flashing address. So that's the engine's address and what you want to call the engine. You know, number. So we type in 801. It'll send. Sending it to the decoder through the track and all that good stuff. Start voltage, and all this is on the back too. Um, there it is, program on the main. Uh, program, place loco on the program track, press program to display, prog, prog, program track, and press enter, which is that button. And, okay, steps will follow. SV equals the start voltage. What you want, what the engine will start at, what it'll start accelerating at, acceleration rate, how fast it'll accelerate, um, deceleration rate, how fast you want it to slow down, you know, decel, um, like kind of like on a car, a car. Um, okay, where were we? Uh, accelerate, decelerate, top voltage. I just set mine to 126 because um, that's the preset top voltage. And uh, any of you, if you want to skip any of this stuff, if you don't want to deal with it, I mean, like, um, if you've already programmed an engine before and you're just going back to play with its settings again, um, you can skip it by pressing enter. And, oops, uh oh. Did we lose it? Yeah, we did. Oh, jeez. Sorry. I have a bad throttle uh, connection here. It's old. Okay. <laughs> Um, okay, all right. Start over. 801. Enter. Start voltage. We'll say maybe five. It's sending. Acceleration rate. We'll just say five. We'll make all the same. Deceleration rate five. 
And the higher the number, the more it's going to take to respond. The lower the number, if I made everything one, this thing would be going like, like the Acela again. So, okay. Top voltage, one, two, six. Enter. CV number. Um, this is where it gets really complicated. Uh, CVs are what, um, like if you have a sound engine, you can change all the functions. Like, uh, and yeah, CV means. Uh, what's it mean? Program CV. Um, yeah, well, I mean, what's it stand for? Configuration variable. There we go. And, like, okay, if you have a specific thing, like my engine over here, 3681, the, you know, the SD45, which is sound and all that, uh, you know, fancy smancy bells and whistles, um, then you'd want to go with them, you know, into that. But if you don't, if it's just a basic non-sound engine that you just want to get up and running, you can skip it just by pressing enter. And it brings you back to your train running screen and see, I press F2, horn, okay. Now we take this off the program track and we cross our fingers to make sure this works. And again, I am not an expert, I kind of am, not really, <laughs> I don't know, I don't want to sound like a genius, you know. Not like a know-it-all. I'm not a know-it-all. I'm actually quite dull. You get what I mean? So, okay. Uh, loco to run it. To find this engine that you just programmed, you press 801. And you can see that we've displayed it. And, okay. I've just pressed F0. You can see the headlight comes on there. And, uh, if you cameraman if you'd look down here. Boom, there goes the headlights. I'm, de I'm accelerating. And there she goes. Check that out. We're at 5 right now, speed 5. See how she's gradually picking up speed. A lot better than before. And there she goes backwards, or just press the direction and slow her down. She goes lower down. And I don't want to stop it there. That's a bad place to stop an engine. <laughs> and there we go. And we press direction. And there goes the headlights. So, um, if that's uh, if that's not a little too complicated, I don't know if I kind of went too fast. Um, uh, uh, yeah, you can just go back and video, and, you know, if you miss something, just go back to it. Um, so that's pretty much the basic of, uh, you know, programming an engine on the, uh, on your layout. And programming an engine is very important. It's, it's uh, you gotta do it. You can't avoid it because then, unless your engine has been bought, like, say, okay, um, it's already been bought. Like some, like some of mine I've just bought off eBay. They've already been programmed. Um, so you just type in your engine number and away you go. But uh, so yeah, uh, thanks for watching and that's pretty much it for me. And uh, I hope this video helped you out some and helping you uh, get your uh, layout on the right foot. And the same with the cameraman, which his Zephyr system is still on the what the weight um, back ordered I think it's I forgot my dad was supposed to check the email I don't even think he did but it's all right supposed to email us back when they get it well if Digitrax shop. lets you down then you know yeah there you go your system it's a heck of a lot cheaper but you know hey that's you want to go with the Zephyr system that's all right but yeah but uh okay um I hope this video helped you guys and Don more, well, yeah, this video is for Don, but if other people, you know, just learning to, you know, program and stuff and get into this DCC lingo, um, I hope this helps. Again, I'm not an expert, and results may vary, like the commercials. So, all right, I think I made this little video long enough, so thanks for watching, and uh, I hope this helps. Thanks, guys. Out.